Welcome back to the PSN Commands Network. Also, it's a protest sports down with your boy Tom at a tech. I am back with another video. If I get to a word of God, for God's right now, God's open doors and payment for all your people in the Lord's name. Pray, man. Today, we we're here to wrap up the Washington Commanders. In today's video, we're going to talk about something that just came to my attention uh, through just deep thinking, right? Uh, a lot of Ron Rivera's draft picks are just not good enough football players to make an NFL roster. But they made this NFL roster because they were Ron Rivera draft picks. So I'm going to give you guys five Ron Rivera draft picks that will not make the 2024 roster and have a couple surprise ones. So let's get right into it. Number five, Shaka Tony. Uh, seventh round pick out of Penn State. I like Shaka Tony come out of school. Um, I really thought he could really do some things in the league. Always a really good pass rusher. And he also could play linebacker. He's not worked out. He's been suspended for a whole season for gambling. Uh, I just don't think he's going to make this team because he's not good enough as a talent, number one. And number two, he's been the whole year out of football, so he should be very, very rusty. And these other guys are probably much more season and ready to play than he is. So, number five will be Shaka Tony, the seventh-round pick out of the 2021 NFL draft out of Penn State. Number four. Number four is interesting. will be Braden Daniels, the fourth-round pick out of the 2023 NFL draft out of Utah. I just – He's just not big enough to be a tackle, and he's not, like, super nimble enough to be a guard. I don't know what he is. And I don't think they'll know what the heck he is either. But he'll probably be on a practice squad. I don't think I don't think he'll make the roster. I mean, he's a guy that'll be on a practice squad. Um, call up if you need to call him up. But he'll be a guy that just won't make the team, which is a shame that we spent a fourth-round pick on a dude that won't make the team two straight years. Number three. This one is a little con- controversial. I'll be honest. It's a little controversial, but this one is highly unlikely. But Benjamin St. Juice, third round pick, 82nd pick overall out of the University of Minnesota out of the 2021 NFL draft class. Hear me out here. I think this cornerback room needs an overhaul. Like, I love Kendall Fuller, but he's getting up there in age. I think if you retain him, he should be a safety, right? Not corner. I want Jalen Johnson, personally. I want Jalen Johnson. I would love to draft Kamari Lasseter with that 34th pick in the draft. If it's not him, it's Kalen King. I think Kalen King is the kid out of Michigan. Uh, my, uh, Stronadale? I forgot if I pronounced his last name. Number zero, that guy, dog. Dog. Those three are dogs. I want one of them at 34. I want one of them. I don't care. Give me Lasseter, King, or, or, or Mike number zero. I want one of them three. I want one of them three corners. Need one. Need to have it. I need it. Not I want it. I need it. I need it, darn it. I need it. So, <sighs> what does that leave Benjamin St. Juice? They cut Danny Johnson already. They only oh, they cut, they cut Curtis Hodges the other day. The, 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 the damn recording this video. Uh, Interesting. Interesting. If you do that, and if you do read, and you got Emmanuel Forbes, and you like Quan Martin, and Quan Martin probably playing the slot for you. Now, I, I, probably. Um, I want a nickel corner, but if if Quan can play the nickel, the other guys can play outside too. Like Mike uh, Sternerdale can play uh, outside. Kalen King can definitely play outside. And also, Kamari Lasser is way better outside than inside anyway. So those guys can also play outside corner. So if you do have Quan Martin, you do draft Kamari Laster or Mike Sternadale or a guy like uh, Kalen King, and then you pick up Jalen Johnson, and you still have Emmanuel Forbes, where the freak is he making this team at? Is he going to be special teams? I, I, wh- wh- where's St. Juice playing, bro? And I like Christian Holmes as a special teamer. So wh- where, 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 where? But as I said, if, if I did what I did, which would be overhaul this whole damn thing because the core position is trash, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Number two. This one shouldn't be too much of a shocker, to be honest with you. It might be slightly, slightly, uh, slightly uh, kind of a, a surprise. For Darian Mathis, I know y'all are like, what the freak? 
You ready to cut a second round pick after two years? Yes, I am. I am. I am. I think for Dan is going to year three. Uh, second round pick out of 2022 NFL draft class. And he hasn't done anything. He has eight tackles. It's eight tackles in two years. And I've been in an upgrade position too. I've been able to upgrade almost every position on this roster. Do you want to go to a whole roster overhaul? And if he, if he doesn't bring his A game in camp, he's done. He's done, bro. Done, daughter. Dead on arrival, I tell you. Dead, dead, dead. Bring your A game for Darian. Or you won't be here much longer, big dog. That's tough. Number one, this going to piss a lot of people off, and I don't care. Diami Brown, the 82nd, oh, I think St. Jude's the 74th pick in that in that draft. Diami Brown was the later third round pick at the 82nd pick in 2021 NFL draft out of the University of North Carolina. He my number one commander from the Ron Rivera era that's going to get cut this offseason. I said it, I said it emphatically. I don't care. I know Saga Tone might be a little bit more obvious. Uh, Brayden Daniels might be more obvious. I know this one's going to hurt a lot of people. A lot of people like Diami. I like Diami Brown. I don't hate him. I don't think he's produced enough. I think he's with 400 yards in two years. He's done. Cook. Put him in a deep fry. He's fried. Get him out of here. I think they're going to overhaul this wide receiver position. I think they're going to pay for somebody. They're going to pay for T. Higgins. They're going to pay for Mike Evans. They're going to pay for somebody to play opposite Terry McGraw, which will allow Jahan going to slot, right? I like Mitchell Tinsley. I love his game a lot. Like I love Mitchell Tinsley, bro. Like, I'm a big Mitchell Tinsley proponent. I think he's making his team. I like Dax Milne. Dax Milne's the sixth guy. You want to say Dax Milne over Diami? Cool. But I like Dax Milne. Now, I don't love him. He can go. He want to go. But uh, if they pick up T. Higgins or Mike Evans or even a K.J. Osborne, right? Um, and they'll pay Jahan play outside. Even when they're it, it, paying a receiver in this, in this free agent class. I think they double back and get a cheaper guy like a Brandon Powell or Byron Pringle. Someone like that, right? Retain Byron Pringle, pick up a Brandon Powell. And I think they draft the receiver late. So that makes it really tough for the Army a guy that did not draft and a guy they don't give a crap about to make this team. Deion Brown's getting cut, y'all. Y'all will hate me for that. If he does make the roster, he'll be the last receiver on the roster. He'll be strictly special teamer. He won't see no snaps as a wide receiver next year. If they do, I think they're going to do just pick up T. Higgins, pick up one of these low-end receivers in, in, in free agency, like a Brandon Powell or something to, to, to kind of solidify wide receiver four or five. And then they go draft a receiver and they like Mitchell Tinsley, he's out of here. He's out of here. They're about to overhaul this, this whole this whole roster getting overhauled. They're about to overhaul this whole daggone thing. And De'Ami Brown, you want you want a sacrificial line, my boy. Five number team that's knowing you. You could succeed with Sam Howe and, and your college quarterback. Who the hell you succeeded with, my boy? That was your last shot, my boy. It's raps. It's raps for you, my boy. Nice doing you. Adios, amigos. Your NFL career by the sense of the shadow realm. One way ticket. Nice doing you. You're out of here. That's tough. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all be easy. Stay safe. Stay blessed, man. Till next time. Peace and love. Bless to all y'all, man. Y'all be easy.